Here we have the BWD5-40. It's a variable speed drive pump, which is again a corrosion resistant one, designed for high flow applications. It's got three operating modes, a quiet, a normal and a power mode. The quiet mode, it is very quiet in, but it limits it to a um, maximum of two bar pressure and it's very slow to respond. And it also limits it so it doesn't do higher flows. The normal mode is similar but limited to three bar and again limited um, output from the one. And uh, then the power mode is basically like a normal variable speed drive pump which you can actually set on the screen. What's nice on the screen is it's got a pressure gauge and it's actually got a built-in power meter and it shows you the RPM of the pump. Uh, we've tested already, the power meter does look accurate, so we're going to use that um, as a reference point here. So let's um, start off at two bar pressure and see if we just give it a, a fairly low flow. Let's look at, say what would be about the equivalent of of a, of a shower. See that a little bit of a delay that turns on and it's drawing about 320 watt for, for this, this application. If we take it up to say what would typically be about two showers flow, we're drawing about 450 watt at two bar. We'll take it to about two and a half thousand liters an hour there we're drawing about 500 watt. It's still staying fairly quiet, but its noise is definitely at a slightly higher pitch than something like the HMS pumps. Um, if we then take it to 3000 liters an hour, we're at 550 watt. Four thousand liters an hour, interestingly, it actually sounds a little bit quieter. And we're drawing um, 650 watt at 2 bar, 5,000 litres an hour, we're at about 900 watt, at 6,000 litres an hour, we're at about a kilowatt. Let's see what kind of flow we can get out of this one. Is about 7,000 liters an hour. We're at 1.2 kilowatt at two bar, still keeping pressure. A little bit. There's 8,000 liters an hour still managing, but we're filling 1.4 kilowatt and actually still staying fairly quiet. about 8,000 litres an hour, putting 1.4 kilowatt. Still uh, struggling a little bit to keep pressure now. Now we've dropped to about 1.7. Okay. Let's have a look at two and a half bar. Let's see, it locks itself. Pocket. Two and a half bar. Let's try again just at a small flow. Like you would have for a single shower. It's at about 400 watt. About 500 watt for about two showers. It's about the two and a half thousand liters an hour at two and a half bar. We're drawing 550 watt. 3,000 liters an hour. We're at about 6, 650 watt. Four thousand liters an hour. We're drawing about eight hundred watt and still keeping the two and a half bar. Let's 
5,000 liters an hour, we're drawing about a kilowatt, the two and a half bar. And at 6,000 liters an hour, we're drawing about 1.1 kilowatt, still keeping the two and a half bar. It's about 7,000 um, litres an hour, 7,000 litres an hour, uh, jumping around a little bit, see. we're drawing about 1.4 kilowatt to get to uh, two and a half bar, see if we can get 8,000. At 8,000, we again uh, can't keep the two and a half bar. Bar pressure we're at 1.4 kilowatt, and we're at about 2.1 bar. Yeah. Let's have a look at free bar. Three bar, a single shower is taking about 500 watt. Roughly two showers flow at about 550. About two and a half thousand liters, we're at about 700 watt. Three bar at um, about 3,000 liters an hour, we're at about 750. Four thousand liters is at about 900 watt. Five thousand liters is at about a kilowatt. And six thousand is at about 1.2 kilowatt at three bar and still maintaining it. Let's see if we can do 7,000. Okay, we can't do 7,000 litres of three bar. We drop, pump is maxed out at 1.4 kilowatt, and we drop down to 2.77 bar. Three and a half bar. About a single shower, we're drawing about 600 watt. Two showers, about 700 watt. Two and a half thousand liters an hour at about um, 800 watt. Three thousand, about uh, yeah, just under 900 watt, but about 900 watt. Four thousand liters an hour is a kilowatt at three and a half bar. 5,000 litres an hour, it's, yeah, it's dipping a bit, but there we do get to the 3.5 bar, we're getting 1.2 kilowatt. And 6,000 litres an hour, we can actually still manage 3.5 bar, at, but the pump is maxed out at 1.4 kilowatt. Let's have a look if we do... Four bar. It does take a while to spool up with it. The bigger buffer tank would definitely help. Okay, so running about a single shower, about 600 watt.
two showers at about 750. Two and a half thousand liters, so about a kilowatt. Three thousand liters, also in the region of about a kilowatt. Still managing to keep four bar. Four thousand liters now, still managing to keep four bar, and. Um, we're at about 1.15 kilowatt. Five thousand liters an hour, still managing four bar at uh, 1.35 kilowatt. Yeah, that's six thousand. Okay, and at 6,000, we're at three and a half bars, so we can't, can't keep four bar. So we could do 5,000 liters now at four bar. Let's have a look if it can manage four and a half. So four and a half bar with a small thing like shower running, but 750 watt. Two showers, we had about 850 watt. Two and a half thousand liters an hour. We're again uh, uh, around the kilowatt. Thousand and fifty watt for three thousand liters now. Four thousand liters now, still keeping pressure at uh, thousand two hundred and seventy watt. Okay, and at 5,000 liters an hour, we can get to 4.4 bar at 1.4 kilowatt. Let's see if it can do five. So the single shower, five bar, Looking at about 800 watt. Two showers at about a kilowatt. Two and a half thousand liters an hour, still keeping five bar at 1.1 kilowatt. Three thousand liters an hour at 1.2 kilowatt. Four thousand liters an hour. And it's maxed out at four point nine. So four thousand liters now we can get to uh, uh, four point nine bar. And let's just have a look. If we try five five point five bar, but we're losing a lot of the um, power efficiency of the pump at this kind of higher pressure. And we can actually get there, 900 watt for say, a single shower. One point oh five, uh, one point one kilowatt looks like it more for two showers. Two and a half thousand liters an hour, can still get to 5.5 bar at 
3,000 liters an hour. Can still manage it. 5.5 uh, bar at 1.25 kilowatt. Four thousand liters an hour. We can get to five point two bar only, and that's at its one point four kilowatt, which is its max. Okay. Conclusions. Overall, it looks like quite a nice pump. I would say in maximum volume, it's actually a very quiet pump. But the, the thing is, the pitch is a little bit of a higher pitch than you would have on a multi-stage pump. A multi-stage pump, like say the HMS, would I think be similar, but maybe a little bit louder. But it's at a lower frequency, where this is more of a, a higher pitched, um, pitched hum to it. Power consumption, not bad overall. I uh, think actually very good for the amount of water pumped through. But it does use a little bit more, especially at lower flow, than a, a multi-stage pump. But um, if you've got a higher flow application, overall looks like a very, very good option.